Hello, I am Seema and welcome to part 3 of the chapter Chemical Kinetics. We were doing rates of chemical reactions. In this video, I am going to solve three numerical problems in order to explain the same topic. The first question is a solved example of your textbook and the question is example 4.2. I will read the question straight away. The question says that the decomposition of N2O5 in carbon tetrachloride at 318 Kelvin has been studied by monitoring the concentration of N2O5 in the solution. Initially, the concentration of N2O5 is 2.33 moles per liter and after 184 minutes, it is reduced to 2.08 moles per liter. So, the initial concentration of the reactant and the final concentration of the reactant, that is R1 and R2 have been given to you. And Instead of giving T1 and T2, he's given you delta T already. The duration has been given to you. Initial time and final time was not given. Rather, delta T is what you would have calculated even if you had initial time and final time is given to you in order to calculate the rate. So, and after 184 minutes, it is reduced to 2.08 moles per liter. The reaction can be represented by this equation. That is 2N2O5 gives you 4NO2 plus O2 and all are gaseous reactants and products. And you have to calculate the average rate in terms of hours, minutes and seconds. And what is the rate of production of NO2? NO2 is a product. So what is the rate of production of NO2 during this period? Okay. Now what have we been given? Let me write that again first. For the reactant that is N2O5, the initial concentration R1 in moles per liter was given to us and what was that? Uh, the concentration of is initially the concentration was 2.33 moles per liter is molarity M and R2 is also given which is equal to it is reduced to 2.08 moles per liter M capital M and delta T is given to us which is uh, 184 minutes okay so you're supposed to calculate the rate in terms of minutes in terms of seconds and in terms of hours so if it is 184 in minutes how many hours would it be in hours what would delta t be delta t 184 minutes divided by 60 if you divide uh, the minutes by 60 you will get hours so 184 upon 60 will give you hours and seconds delta t in seconds would be equal to 184 minutes into 60 seconds will give you the delta t in seconds so using the appropriate uh, value you will now calculate the value of average reaction rate so rate average or average rate would be equal to what is it equal to it is we are talking in terms of n2o5 so n2o5 is the reactant so it will be minus since it is reactant it will be minus the stoichiometric coefficient is 2 therefore it will be 1 upon 2 and the change in concentration delta n2o5 or delta r delta r upon delta t right and this would be equal to minus of half delta how would you calculate delta r delta r would be equal to r2 minus r1 and upon delta t right so the first time we are calculating in minutes so we'll use this so this would be equal to what would be the difference r2 is 2.08 so rate average rate would be equal to or average rate would be equal to 2.08 by sorry minus of 2.08 minus 2.33 upon delta t is 184 and this will the units would be in moles molarity moles per liter per minute right because the, the unit of time is in minutes when you solve this what is the value that you will get when you solve this you will get um, 6.79 into 10 to the power minus 4 
6.79 into 10 to the power minus 4 moles per minute moles uh, sorry moles per liter per minute so moles per liter per minute and if you want it in uh, in hours if you want this in hours what will you do average rate in terms of hours to convert it into hours you have to divide the delta t by 60 in order to divide the delta t by 60 what you have to do here average rate in hours so this would be equal to again uh, 2.08 minus 2.33 it remains a negative value and this will be minus therefore on the whole this will become positive so since 2.08 is smaller than 2.33 you will get a negative value here and the negative outside will ultimately give you the rate which is positive and that was the reason why we put a negative value when we are calculating the average rate or instantaneous rate in terms of a reactant so this would be this upon 184 into 60 because we are dividing 184 by 60 and now you will get moles per liter per hour right and when you solve this you will get the answer in hours which would be equal to in hours this will be 4.07 into 10 to the power minus 2 4.07 into 10 to the power minus 2 mole per liter can be written as uh, capital M also per hour and now average rate in terms of in terms of seconds if you want it in seconds what will you do you can you will multiply this by 60 so either you multiply this whole thing and then solve it or you just take this value and make the change so 6.79 into 10 to the power minus 4 moles per minute was there and you will you have to multiply the denominator delta t was in the denominator you have to multiply that by 60 so you just divide this by 60 and you'll get the answer in moles per second molarity per second and when you solve this this will be equal to 1.13 into 10 to the power minus 5 1.13 into 10 to the power minus 5 mole per liter i'm changing the units on purpose for you to understand capital M is moles per liter you can also write it as moles per liter so mole per liter per second so you have this was you to calculate the average rate in terms of hours minutes and seconds you've done that and the next part says that what is the rate of production of NO2 during this period in 184 minutes what was the rate of production of NO2 if now when you calculate the rate it is for one mole of everything that is why we divided it by the stoichiometric coefficient so if you talk of rate in terms of no2 what would be the formula for that the concentration if i had to talk in terms of no2 in terms of the concentration of no2 and no2 is a product so rate in terms of no2 would or the average rate in terms of no2 would be equal to delta the change in concentration of no Two divided by, of course, four. Why? Because the stoichiometric coefficient is four upon delta t. But we know the rate is always the same. Whether you calculate it in terms of products or any reactant, the rate of the reaction will be the same. So rate we have already calculated in terms of minutes. How much was it? Six point seven nine into ten to the power minus four molarity per minute. Right. This was the rate of the reaction and the rate in terms of NO2 should also be this. So if the rate of the reaction is this, for NO2, the concentration of NO2 has been divided by 4 because we had to divide it by the stoichiometric coefficient in order to uh, make it for one mole. Actually, NO2 is being produced 4 times of the rate because for every uh, for one mole a molar equation you would say for one mole of oxygen four moles of no2 is being produced so if you talk of rate in terms of this how would you calculate the amount that is being produced so what is the rate of production the rate of production will be will be four times this the concentration of this would be four times the rate 
4 times the rate will give you the rate of production of NO2. NO2 upon delta T is rate of production of NO2 and that will be and the rate of the reaction is 1 upon 4 so it will be 4 into rate of reaction. So which will be equal to 6.79 into 10 to the power minus 4 moles per liter mole per liter per minute into oh, into 4 and when you solve this this will come out to be how much this would be 2.72 into 10 to the power minus 3 2.72 into 10 to the power minus 3 molarity moles per liter per minute so this would be the rate at which the NO2 would be formed. So this was the first question and I did it on purpose because this is slightly complex and now I will solve the two in-text questions which are comparatively simpler. Give me a moment to write the question. Now this is question 4.1, your in-text question. The question reads, for the reaction R giving P, which means reactants giving you products, the concentration of the reactant changes from 0.03 moles per liter molarity to 0.02 molarity that is moles per liter in 25 minutes. You have to calculate the average rate in both minutes and seconds. It is almost the same question. The first part of the question that the previous question that we did. Only it is simpler here because you do not have stoichiometric coefficients which you don't have to divide. So let us uh, see what all is given to us. The concentration, initial and final concentration of the reactants are given and delta T is given to us. So let's say R1, concentration of R1 uh, changes from 0.03 moles per liter molarity and R2 given to us is equal to 0.02 moles per liter and delta T is given to us which is uh, 25 minutes. So we are asked to find out the rate in minutes and in seconds so delta t in seconds what will be 25 minutes into 60 will give us uh, seconds so i should write the minutes 25 into 60 seconds so these are the two times that we have uh, the two values of delta t that we have in minutes and in seconds so let us uh, find out uh, the rate average rate in terms of reactant would be equal to minus delta R upon delta T which is equal to minus R2 minus R1 upon delta T. So let us solve it in terms of minutes first. Uh, R2 is given to us as 0. Point, so rate would be equal to 0. 0.02 minus minus because it's the reactant minus 0. 0.03 upon Delta T is 25 minutes, right? Minutes. And here it is moles per liter. So you will get the answer from this. This is this would be minus 1 and minus of minus 1 will become positive. So rate is always a positive value. And in reactants, the negative we put is, I keep repeating this so that you never forget that rate is a speed and it will always be positive. If you are getting a negative answer, it means you've forgotten to plug the negative. And that is the reason why you're getting the wrong answer. So uh, in minutes now, this would be zero minus 0 0.01 upon minus of minus 0 0.01 upon 25. This would become, which becomes a positive value, which would be equal to uh, 4 into 10 to the power, 4 into 10 to the power minus 4 molarity per minute, because we're calculating in minutes. And now rate in seconds, in seconds would be equal to again minus of 0 0.02 minus 0 0.03 moles per liter upon 25 into 60 seconds so this would become equal to minus 0 0.01 upon 25 into 60 uh, moles per second and this would be moles per liter per second and when you solve this this would be equal to 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 6. 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 6 molarity per second. Right? So this was question 4.1 and now we do question 4.2. Alright. 
Now this is question 4.2, your in-text question 4.2. The question says that in a reaction, 2A gives you products. The concentration of the reactant A decreases from 0.5 moles per liter to 0.4 moles per liter. They've given you the molarity, initial concentration and final concentration. In 10 minutes, again, they've given you delta T. You have to calculate the rate during this interval, the simplest of all the problems. So you have to find out rate. Rate would be equal to, in order to find minus of half, divide by the stoichiometric coefficient, A, concentration of A, final concentration minus initial concentration of A upon delta T. Now this would be equal to minus half and A2, what is the final concentration? 0.4 minus 0.5 moles per liter or you could write capital M for this upon delta T is given in minutes that is upon 10 and therefore you write this as minutes per minutes right and when you solve this this would be equal to minus of half into 0.4 minus 0.5 will be minus 0.1 upon 10 and moles per minute and when you solve this this would be equal to so you're dividing 0.1 by 20 this would be equal to 0.005 moles per liter I'm now writing the units as they are given here although it would have meant the same thing per liter per minute or m per minute right this is the same you could have written this unit also which would be equal to 5 into 10 to the power 3 mole 10 to the power minus 3 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 mole per liter per minute right so that is the rate during this interval so with this i will finish this video if you found it helpful please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel recommend it to your friends and please keep returning for more videos in chemistry thank you for watching and bye bye for now